Peace to everyone. This is going to be fast. I have a new word. It's not pretendian. It's not wabo, hotep. It's not um, wannabe. It's, it's something along those lines. Mistake Indian. Mistake Indian. Someone who mistakenly believes they're Indian when they're actually not. Someone who believes that they're descended from a Cherokee princess. Or, heck, you have people that are uh, part of the uh, so-called Abenaki that are white as snow. They have no connection genealogically to those who live in Odinak, uh, who, who are actually real Abenaki in Canada. Um, but they will double down and say, no, we really are, you know, just because we can't prove it that we're connected to you guys doesn't mean that our ancestors weren't actually this. But then in Odinak, they're saying, no, we are the real Abenaki. You have no connection to us whatsoever. That's how we know you're not really Abenaki. Okay. Um, you're going to have other state recognized tribes like that one, which fall in this category. A lot of people who really honestly believe they're Cherokee or maybe even have real Cherokee citizenship or real Muscogee Nation citizenship, but don't have any actual blood because their ancestors bought themselves onto the rolls. And yeah, they got real citizenship. Yeah, they got real land allotments, but they're not really Indians. And some of them have descendants who really believe that they're actually native because their ancestors were on the rolls. So they think, oh, that must mean we're Indians. And I will say that a lot of freedmen fall under this uh, new term I'm creating, okay? But uh, it's not just the freedmen. There's a lot of people who really think they're native and who have some type of record connection but no actual blood. Mistake Indian. Mistake Indian. Okay? You're mistaken into thinking that you're Indian. And you're not. <sighs> anyway, uh, that's all I got for today. Uh, but over watching. Uh, until next time, Haram Chichathlis.